My favorite thing to eat in Switzerland is raclette cheese. Raclette is this really super nice melted cheese which usually comes with a little gherkin and a cooked potatoes. It's the most typical Swiss, um, you know, food and the Swiss, they eat it all the time, even, you know, at uh, 11 at night. It's something different than the fondue and it has to be raclette cheese. And the best raclette you actually get in the valleys. This is the canton where we usually go to when we go to Zermatt. Um, and please don't try it with another cheese. It has to be raclette. Well, you have two different regions in Switzerland where they grow wine. One is the Lavoux area. It's around Lake Geneva. And the other one is the Rhone Valley. Um, this is in the valleys, in the Canton Valleys. And um, this is quite warm there. Um, the most popular wine in Switzerland is the Chasséla. Uh, it's a white grape and um, I would recommend the Corniche des Allées uh, from 2018. Um, if you prefer rosé, then I would go uh, for the La Petite Cure. Um, that is from the Lavoux area. Then we do have another one is called uh, Sortiliège also from the Lavaux, and if you prefer a Syrah, then this would be from the Valleys. Um, but we also have a Merlot from the Ticino, which is the only Italian canton in uh, Switzerland. And if you, you know, prefer the red wine, then I also can uh, recommend the Pinot Noir. Um, that would be a wine um, definitely from Graubünden. Graubünden is the largest canton in Switzerland. But you have to come to Switzerland to taste all these different wines because the Swiss, they don't export their own wine. They drink it themselves. My favorite hidden gem in Switzerland is to show, um, you know, like the holes in Switzerland. What? holes in Switzerland. Well, there are a lot of bunkers in um, Switzerland and it, it, it's like the Swiss cheese, you know, with the little holes um, because you have a lot of bunkers in the mountains, believe it or not. And um, there's one particular um, place where you actually can see a door into the mountain and if you would open the door it only happens you know once a year or so when they open the door you can actually walk in a bunker why do they have those bunkers where they started in the 1960s you know during the cold war time um you know to establish all those bunkers and um, it is really interesting well, I would say um, any time from May to September is really nice. And uh, it sort of depends of what you're looking for, because if you come in September, even into October, it is those really nice crisp sky. It is really nice to visit Switzerland because when you when you go to Switzerland, you want to, you know, see all those wonderful mountains and amazing views you have on the top. Um, so, yes, um, September, October is a really nice time. Um, and believe it or not, it is very hot in the summertime, can be hot. We even had like up to 35 degrees Celsius, um, you know, in um, all the cities. Obviously, when you go high up in the, in the mountain range, it is different. Um, but I would say even May is really nice when, you know, the spring comes, everything smells very fresh. That is wonderful. And if you try to sort of get a glimpse of the uh, snow, then April is a good season. That is a good question. I would say uh, the best Swiss chocolate you will find in a little cafe in Samat uh, because they selling the chocolate which won an award for the second best chocolate in the world. 
um, but you have to go to Zermatt to get it there. It's a Swiss company and they actually handcraft the chocolate. Um, but there's also another little um, shop called Max Chocolatier. If you just want to go in a grocery shop and you know buy some chocolate bars, I would go for Cahiers because it is really creamy. It's spelled C-A-I-L-L-E-R. But unfortunately, you have to come to Switzerland to buy it. My favorite trip to run in Switzerland are all of them. We do have two and a half trips in Switzerland. Why do I say two and a half? Because one is also going to Austria and the other two are going entirely in Switzerland. But one is a train trip and the other one is I stop by coach. I would say in terms of location, you're going to see pretty much the same um, cities and locations in, on both trips. But if you definitely want to see uh, Geneva, then the train trip is a must. You know, it depends on you. Do you prefer to travel by train? Um, just basically to look out the windows. But we do changing platforms um, quite a bit. And uh, or do you just want to have the uh, comfort of a coach? So this is sort of uh, the difference. And what I also like about Best of Switzerland is um, that we're gonna spend one night in Stresa, which is sort of like a little glimpse of Italy at the Lago Maggiore and uh, just has a totally different feel. We do have a new trip, by the way, for the winter season, Swiss Delight. So that is a very good trip also with many new locations, definitely to recommend. Um, in Switzerland, you're gonna visit a lovely family as be my guest, um, a family who's growing wine for the last 400 years in the Lavo area. So you overlooking Lake Geneva. It's a gorgeous area of Switzerland. Um, it is warm enough because it's on the sunny side. So they're growing their own wine. You have the opportunity to taste three different wines. One is a white wine. The other one is a rosé and a red wine. And um, we're going to serve that also with what the Swiss call a Swiss apéro. So that means like obviously with cheese, Swiss cheese and some cold cuts and a little bit of salad. Um, but, you know, I would say um, the wonderful experience is um, basically to experience and try Swiss wine in a family which is there for so many years. It can get very cold in Switzerland, obviously, when you're up in the mountains. Um, so yes, be prepared for cold temperatures. But I would say you have to have layers. Um, that is the motto in Switzerland, um, because we can have some really cold temperatures in the morning, and then we go down to the lakes and suddenly you have 30 degrees Celsius. So you have to have layers. And I would say what to bring. Um, definitely good shoes with a good grip, a down jacket and maybe a scarf, a hat, or gloves for, you know, when we're up at the uh, Matterhorn, that it would be very important. And um, yeah, that's uh, the most important thing to bring with. <music>